Before we finish up the LP, I feel the need to explain the mantras because they are by far the hardest puzzle in the game due to how Nagoro changed it from the MSX version of La Mulana. In the original La Mulana, the mantras were chanted by going to the back side of a dungeon and following the same route to the boss as the front side, starting from the silver cross compass in each dungeon. This is somewhat the same in the remake, but there are some differences between each area. In the remake, you can generally find the correct mantra location by aligning the front and back maps using the compass as a focal point and locating the boss. But there are three dungeons that don't follow this rule. Inferno Cave, Chamber of Extinction, and the Mausoleum of the Giants. However, there is a distinct clue on how to solve these mantras and the mantra puzzle as a whole. The clue lies in the instruction manual for the game. You can view this by right-clicking on the game on Steam and clicking View Player Manual, going to goodoldgames.com and downloading it there, or you could just grab it on Nagoro's website. On page 19 of the instruction book, the devs state that every dungeon can be rearranged in a 4x5 pattern if you loop the rooms around. This clue is absolutely necessary to figure out the locations in the three fields I mentioned before because of their layout. There's no literal in-game tablet or dialogue that makes mention of this, but it's implied by how certain areas like the Gate of Guidance or Chamber of Extinction loop around on themselves. Twin Labyrinth is a unique and really funny case when you take a step back and look at it. The dungeon itself is its own front and back side, so the room total is doubled up. You could do the method the instructions advise, but I noticed you could just bisect the map and flip one side. When you do this, the mantra locations align perfectly with the boss chamber. Once you know the devious tricks and put in the effort, the mantra puzzle practically solves itself. You can also just brute force the puzzle and chant the mantras in every room with no repercussion. And in all honesty, it's probably a lot faster than racking your mind trying to solve this legit. It's nice to know that this puzzle is capable of being solved within reason, however. Good luck with the game, adventurer!